Oh, it's a hot day out today. It's about 92, 93 degrees out here. Not the hottest it's ever been, but it's hot enough, especially with the humidity. Anyway, what I've got here are these blowers, one of them. The other one's over there by the truck. And, you know, when I put these into place in my grandfather's basement to dry up the flood waters and dry up our cleaning efforts, they really just didn't seem to move a whole lot of air. And some of you suggested, and I suspected, that maybe these fans were running backwards. So I thought I'd try reversing the motors. I don't know about the other one with the Marathon motor, but this this Magnatech motor indicates that it's reversible. So I'm just going to change its wiring, give it a try, and see if this thing does more like it ought to do. Well, it does seem that for whatever reason, somebody had reversed this motor because the, the blue and the uh, yellow wires that you're supposed to change to reverse its direction had been changed from the factory listed way of the method of hookup. So I've gone ahead and put them back and it looked like the blue one had actually been pressed into the pink one over there so I'm thinking that someone was definitely into this motor at some point. So let's just see what reversing its direction has done for it as soon as I'm sure I've got a good connection. And one of these days I will invest in a proper cord for these rather than misusing an extension cord for the purpose. Oh heavens, a wire tangle. Don't you love it? You can have a cord just perfectly stored and then they get all tangled up the moment you're not looking. I put in this dandy outlet out here on the Roach Palace. That little pigtail there is reserved for future use when I put the porch light out here. But I made the mistake of putting it up too high to try and keep it out of the weather. And so from out here at ground level, it's kind of a pain in the butt to plug stuff into it. Let's just see what's happening over here. Well, I'd say it's moving a little more air than it did. It still doesn't seem to move very much. I don't know, these fans just must not move a whole lot of air. Oh well, they're still useful. Well, that's such interesting times. It seems that I overlooked this while I was going through this motor. Turns out this one is rotating the right way. It's got a handy little rotation arrow on it that I never happened to notice. So I've put that motor back although it really didn't seem to make much difference to the airflow. In fact, I thought it flowed a little better running backwards than it did forwards. But this other one is definitely turning the wrong way, and so I will have to reverse the motor on it because it's presently going this way when it ought to be going the other way. So my guess is that one of these units has had its motor replaced at some point. I don't know which one. I don't know which the original motor would have been. I don't see any date codes on the two motors to compare them. But evidently one of them needs to be reversed and the other one was running okay, so I guess that's that. And in other news, unrelated to those two green blowers, I was garage sailing a few weeks ago and I came across this. And this bad boy is a monster. But I haven't been able to try it out yet because the motor that came with it is completely dead to the world. It doesn't even hum doesn't pull any power and I'm not sure what's wrong with it. It doesn't look like it's had any trauma and it doesn't smell burned or anything. So I don't know if taking it open will reveal anything obviously amiss or not. But one way or another I'll come into a motor for this one and then I can try it out because it looks like it ought to have um, pretty good air output. 